Stuka Joe here, and uh, we are continuing our playthrough of uh, Malta Besieged. We played yesterday the first deck, 1940 deck, and we have Howard Montgomery with us. Hello, Howard. How are you doing? And uh, as yesterday, I will, be, I will be able to see your chats here. I have this uh, iPad nearby. And uh, I have to make a correction, which I stated in the comments. Uh, when you start talking and filming, sometimes you skip some uh, sub-phases. And I forgot to deduct in one instance one supply and one morale point, but then I found myself in a video forgetting to credit one supply point. So the net effect is that we have to subtract one morale point, so we'll do that now. So we have two morale points. And now the game gets a lot more interesting because we have Rommel coming in, the Africa core, and fortunately for us, the, uh, we, were a we, were, we were able to push the Italian army way back to Tripoli. And uh, historically, the uh, Africa core arrived here at El Aguila. So we're doing better than historically as to that respect, and hopefully this time we'll remember to use Admiral Cunningham, which we forgot to use in the other turn. He negates an advance by any of the fronts except the Africa Corps. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. So I, I haven't counted the number of uh, cards that are in this particular deck. This is the next deck. The gray deck, which corresponds to 1941. And we have New York Raider fan and Eric. How are you doing, guys? Nice to see you. And uh, I believe it must be like 17, 18 cards, something like that. But there's more convoys here. So you've got one, two, three, four, four convoys. And of course, the Africa Corps. So this is the seated card. And as the seated card, we uh, place it on top of, uh, of the pile. So we will leave that one on top of the pile. And we shuffle the other cards. OK. OK. And we place the seated card uh, on top. And now I realize one thing. The phone that I'm filming with is my uh, replacement phone. Let me put the Stuka Joe slide and let me switch and get the good phone on. Just one minute here and I'll be right back with you. So here's the... Please, come on. Okay, we're back with the correct camera, which is important. <laughs> I noticed the other one wasn't focusing well. So we have our deck of cards shuffled, and we know which one is going to be the first. We're going to follow the sequence of play, which is printed on the map. And, uh, but uh, it's pretty complete. So let's begin. And we flip the first card. So Howard got a copy of Napoleon out the Beresina. Great. Hope you enjoy it. I think it's an underrated game. And I know Eric likes Napoleonic games too. So let's flip the first card. And it's not a pretty one. It's Rommel Arrives. So there we see a photograph of the 
Desert Fox, and this one has a short uh, flavored text. The arrival of Erwin Rommel, the Desert Fox, in February 1941 began a new dynamic phase of the war. Now, we will have three actions, and we will need those three actions. Here we see the military advances. We see one by the Luftwaffe, and uh, we see another one by the Regia Marina. And then we have to flip the Regio Esercito, the Italian army, and there, there's an asterisk there. And we flip it to the other side, which is the Africa Corps, and it does not advance. We place the Tobruk Fort unit in the holding box, the Tobruk Falls marker in the Tobruk box, and the Rommel situation marker in its minus one diral modifier box. So let's start with the advances by the Luftwaffe and the Regia Marina. So the Luftwaffe, it's the three strength kind. So let's advance it, and it advances adjacent to Malta. So now it's at the number one spot. And the Regia Marina, on the other hand, is in its number two box. So now it advances to its number, well, I retreated it, so oops. <laughs> it also advances, sorry, live TV, you know. It advances to its number one box. So we have a double headache there. We have two fronts adjacent to Malta. Luckily, uh, we strengthened Malta's fortifications to the maximum allowed in this game, which is level four. The next thing we do is that we flip the Italian army, which is here at Tripoli, we, and we flip it to its Africa core size. And you see it's a four unit. And uh, so this is a formidable foe, like my colleague Dan Pankeldi says. Um, next, we have to bring the Tobruk fortification unit to the holding box. So here we see the holding box, and we bring the Tobruk fortification uh, marker. So we can spend actions to try to fortify Tobruk. We have to roll higher than that number to place this marker, and then we can try to upgrade by rolling higher than three. So we place the marker here in the holding box. Let's see if there's anything else. There was some couple of more things. The Tobruk Falls marker is uh, also, uh, let's see, in the holding box, the to place the Tobruk Falls unit in the holding box, the Tobruk Falls marker in the Tobruk box, okay? So where is the Tobruk box? I think so it's like a circle, I think. Okay, here it is. So the Tobruk box, place it here. I think, I think it means this, the Tobruk box. Okay, so we place it there, and we have to place the Rommel situation marker in the minus one die roll modifier box. And this is where the game gets a lot uh, very interesting because we don't attack the Africa core like other units. We place the Rommel situation marker here. So let's take a look first before we continue how this operates with the uh, Africa Corps uh, counter over here. Uh, in order to attack Rommel when we decide to uh, push the Africa Corps back, we have to take a look at the situation here and we apply any applicable modifier. Right now, minus one is not good for us. So we would need right now a six to push the Africa core out. I mean, and you can push the Africa core from the highest box out to the holding box, and then it, if it is called to move, it just reappears in the seven box. So we want to advance this marker to the uh, plus side. And to do so, we conduct raids. And you see there the raid box. And the raids represent the raids from Malta on Axis shipping. But we have to beat a four. We have to roll higher than a four in order to get that uh, Rommel situation marker moving to the right. But also, the Rommel situation marker moves due to other circumstances. It moves to the right, which is in our favor, 
either by an event card, each time we make a successful raid action, uh, and each time we make a successful raid action against Axis supply lines. So that's how it moves to the right. But it also moves to the left. It moves to the left when instructed by an event card. Each time we make a successful attack on the Africa Corps, so if we are successful in pushing back the Africa Corps, we are pushing it back towards its natural uh, line of supply. It will have a shorter line of supply if we push the Africa Corps back, and, the, and so Rommel's situation improves. Uh, it could be called Rommel's supply situation. Uh, so the downside of pushing Rommel back is that he, uh, we will have a less favorable die roll modifier. And also, uh, the first time that Tobruk falls, the situation for Rommel improves. So that's how that works, and uh, we will see in action when we uh, start attacking the Africa Corps. So let's go back to the card here. And here we see the military advances by, uh, we have done them all. Now we go to the resource uh, phase, no changes. Increase the Malta fort level by one to a maximum value of four. So now we increase the Malta fort, but the Malta fort, we have already done so. We did that in the previous epoch. So that is ignored. Go back to the card. And now we take a look at the orders. Minus one die roll modifier for the Africa core. So that discourages us from attacking the Africa core. Also, there is um, plus one for attacks on the Luftwaffe. And that's convenient because the Luftwaffe is adjacent. And plus one on fortify attempts uh, that we make, so that is good. I'll place this here to remind me. And what else? And uh, raid actions not allowed. So we cannot move that uh, Rommel situation marker because we don't have, uh, we're not allowed to make raids yet. There's a specific card that triggers that. So we have three actions, and I'll mark this here with this uh, little marker here for myself. So the first thing is that we have to push these fronts back. I don't think that is very uh, complicated. It's pretty obvious. Obviously, the Luftwaffe is a bigger threat than the Regia Marina, and we have that positive die roll modified. Let me just put this here to the side. So let's roll 1d6 and we add one, we need four or more. And the roll is a four modified to a five, so that is a success. And the Luftwaffe now goes back to West Sicily. So that was the first of three actions. And so far, so good. So now let's uh, push the uh, Regia Marina back also. And uh, here's, we had, don't have any modifier here. And we have Tim D6. Glad to see you, Tim. So we need three or higher. The roll is a one, and that's a failure. So uh, we have one action left. And let's, uh, I don't like having fronts adjacent. Um, Africa core is way at Tripoli. We don't have to attack it, and we don't have a favorable die roll modifier. Also, our resources are not bad. Morale is at two. Supply is at three, and we can always use supply points to get extra actions if needed. And our military resources at two. That's not bad. So uh, we're going to try to push the Regia Marina with our last action. And we need three or more. And the roll is a six, so the Regia Marina goes uh, swimming back to Taranto. So that's our third action. We are not going to uh, spend any supply points here. Um, 
So now what we do is we will remove, oops, our dice tower just crashed into the ground. Let me just repair it a second and we'll be right back. Okay, it's here. Okay, so now we just remove all these die roll modifier markers and that will be it for now. That's that particular card. So we just finished the first card in this deck. Now we go to the second card. And it says, the first battle of Sirte. So let's take a closer look. It says, Tobruk was finally relieved in early December 1941. The Germans transferred portions of another air group, Flieger Corps II, to the Mediterranean from the Russian front. Additional ships en route to join Force K at Malta sank two Italian cruisers. Yet another blow to the Regia Marina. Commonwealth assets were being steadily drained in the wake of the Japanese attack off on Pearl Harbor. This sounds like a really great event for us, and we have three actions, but let's check now the military advances that we see here in the card. So uh, we see that the Luftwaffe, it states, after advancing, the Luftwaffe's unit battle value is adjusted up to four if currently at three, so that's going to be the case. Regia Marina also advances, Africa Corps advances, and Rommel's situation is uh, the markers moved one space to the right. Okay, so let's conduct these advances. So the first thing is that Luftwaffe advances and it now switches to its number four iteration, which is the more dangerous one. So now it appears in southern Sicily with that number four there. So that's something to worry about. The next uh, enemy to advance is the Regia Marina. So now the Regia Marina is again in the number one spot. We have two adjacent enemies. And now we uh, uh, move the Rommel's situation marker one box to the right. So that, that is at least good for us. So now it's at zero but we have to move the Africa Corps. So the Africa Corps now advances from Tripoli here in the number seven box to where it started historically at El Aguila. So those are the advances for this turn. And now we check for any resource changes and at least we have an increase in morale. That's good. So let's do that right now. So morale, which is at two, now increases to three. Now we check the orders section. And we have a plus one die roll modifier for military resources. If we want to increase them, we have one for the Africa Corps. So the Africa Corps is vulnerable to attack, and I think that's a great opportunity now to attack it. So let's place a marker next to the Africa Corps. And a plus one for Reya Marina, which is adjacent to Malta. So uh, very handy, all these uh, uh, markers, these modifier markers, and you can see them there. So we can attack the Africa Corps. We got a plus one. The Regia Marina is the same story, and if we want to increase morale, or not, not morale, military uh, resources, we can also do that. So now we have three actions, and of course, uh, priorities are priorities. We have to push back these uh, fronts first, because if they reach Malta, they will trigger Operation Hercules. And that depends on certain uh, factors that we add and a die roll. And if we lose that check, it's the end of the game here. So priorities first. Um, <clears throat> we have three actions. Our first action is going to be to push the Regia Marina back. And we have a 
plus one die roll modifier. So we roll 1d6. Roll is a four modified to a five. So the Regia Marina goes sailing back to Taranto. So that is good. And now we uh, will try to uh, push the Luftwaffe back to West Sicily. And uh, we don't have a modifier there. So let's see what happens. We, have, we need a five or six. So here we go. And the roll is a five. So the Luftwaffe goes reeling back to West Sicily. So far, so good. Two actions. We still have one of our original actions. And uh, we have to try to uh, push the Africa Corps back because we don't know if we'll have another chance. We see Rommel's situation is at zero, so it doesn't bother us. We have a plus one, and we need a final five or six. So we're gonna, it's really a 50-50 chance, and I think it's worth the shot. So let's, uh, let's bring in the dice tower. Here we go. And uh, we need a five or more. So here we go. And the roll is a three modified to a four. So we fall short on that. And those are our three actions. Now let's not advance uh, to the next phase. We have three supply points and when are we going to get another chance to try to push the Africa Corps back? One. I mean, we need a five to push it back, and we need a five also for the Luftwaffe marker. But Luftwaffe marker is two boxes away. So ah, do we burn one of these actions now, or do we let it pass and we go to the next turn? Let's burn one of those supply points here. So now... We're left with two supply points, and we will try again to push the Africa core back. Uh, it's a 50-50 thing, so. Okay, we roll 1d6, and we need five or six. The roll is a five modified to a six, so that is successful. And now the Africa core goes back to its, where it started, which is in Tripoli. So, so that was, this was not a bad turn at all. We only failed one die roll, but we still have the Luftwaffe two spots away, two moves away. So uh, have to keep an eye on that. So now we remove the um, die roll modifier markers. It's the end of this turn. And let's go to the next card. So we flip the next card. We have Massey. Yes, we can use supply points for extra actions. And that's one of the uses of the supply points here. And the next card is Operation Crusader. And uh, let's see what it says. A six-week campaign to relieve the besieged fortress of Tobruk began on the 18th of November, 1941. Initially, initially catching Rommel by surprise, Axis countermoves hurt the 8th Army at Sidi Resek. Fighting raged around Tobruk. The battleship Barham was hit by three torpedoes from U-331 on the 25th of November 1941. Nearly 900 men perished. <clears throat> so now we're going to get the U-boats entering the war here, the, uh, the game. That's another track that converges on Malta. And you see here U-boats, if not yet in play, we place the U-boat unit in its number five spot in the Atlantic. And there's an advance by, yes, the Africa Corps. So let's place the U-boat uh, marker in its number five Atlantic box. So here we have it. Fortunately, the U-boats are pretty weak, just a two. So we place it in the number five box. But uh, one interesting thing about the U-boats, 
to get into the Mediterranean, of course, they have to pass through the fortress of Gibraltar. So if they are called to advance before they advance into the western Mediterranean, the number four spot, they have to roll a die and roll higher than two. So uh, they have really a 66% probability of getting to that number four box. It's not anything to write home about, but at least it's something. So now we advance the Africa Corps, and the Africa Corps advances again from, uh, tri from uh, Tripoli, yes, to El Aguila. Okay. And let's take a look at any resources that have to be modified. Minus one military resources, minus one supply. Ouch. So let's do that. So supply now goes down to one. And uh, that's critical because you don't want supplies going down to zero because that means we cannot conduct any raids to, uh, uh, to affect the Africa Corps, even though we are, have not started conducting raids because we haven't drawn the right card. But there's also minus one on all attacks. So now we have to keep an eye on our resources, which is as important as pushing back fronts in this game. Uh, as I stated in the previous episode, if at the end of a turn all the resources are at zero, we lose the game. So we uh, deducted one from our supply, and we deduct one military point. And these are, are hard to get. So these hurt when you when you lose them. So that's the uh, resource phase. Now orders, minus one for any order for military supplies and minus one uh, military resources, I should say, supply also. If we try to roll for supplies now, there's going to be a minus one die roll modifier. And two uh, against U-boats, so minus one. So we're placing the corresponding markers and a plus one as to any morale uh, resource check and plus one against the Africa Corps. So, hmm, interesting. So we placed the corresponding uh, die roll modifier markers. And we have three actions and the Africa Corps is there at El Aguila. Rommel's situation is zero, so we have a plus one. So that's another 50-50, so I think we should at least dedicate a shot to try to push it back. Uh, we have three, three actions. U-boats um, are back in the Atlantic. Don't worry me too much. Let's take our first action and let's uh, try to push that Luftwaffe unit or marker there to its number three box. So that's going to be the first action. And we need higher than four. So here we go. And the roll is a one, so that is a failure. Okay, so that was our first of three actions. Okay. Let's... Try to push the Africa Corps back to Tripoli. It's going to be our second action. So we have our dice tower. We have a plus one net die roll modifier. Rommel's situation is zero. So the uh, cumulative effect is that plus one. And we need five or higher. Roll is a four modified to a five. So yes, Rommel and his Africa Corps go back to Tripoli. So that's our second of third action. So we have one more action. And uh, supplies are low. And we're being discouraged by this minus one. But my fear is that the next card that we may draw may reduce our supplies by one. And that will have the effect that I stated before. That's gonna, 
So I'm very inclined to try to roll to increase, increase supplies, but I have a minus one and we need a final four or higher. So uh, yeah, let's do that. That's going to be our third um, action. So here we go. We roll 1d6, there's a minus 1, and uh, that doesn't count because it fell all out of the dice tower. So let's roll again. And that happened before in the previous episode. So here we go. We roll 1d6, and the roll is a 1, which is a failure. So that's our third action. And of course, we're not going to spend our soul supply point for an extra action. So that is the end of... The turn, we pick up the die roll modifier markers and they go back to the holding box. So now let's take a look at the next card that is due. And it is a convoy card, resupply from Alexandria. Let's take a closer look. It says that due to Axis efforts, only a handful of ships managed to reach Malta. During the winter of 1940-41, a convoy MW6 from Alexandria escorted by a battle fleet and the, the uh, new carrier Formidable docked unobserved on the 23rd of March 1941, but two merchant ships were severely damaged while unloading. So we have three actions, but this is a pretty uh, uh, tough card for us because there's, uh, as you can see there, three advances. Luftwaffe, Regia Aeronautica, Africa Corps, and we're going to have a convoy battle. So let's start by advancing the fronts. Okay, we have uh, the Luftwaffe advancing again to its number one spot. We have also an advance by the Regia Aeronautica, which had been dormant. Uh, and we see it back there in uh, South Italy. Now it advances here to uh, its number three box in Messina. And we have an advance, of course, by the Africa Corps, which is currently in Tripoli. And now it advances again uh, to El Aguila. Okay, so we conducted the advances. Now we conduct a convoy battle and we have to make a decision whether we're going to spend any of our action points in order to activate the ultra marker, which uh, you can see here, we have it in our holding box. And ultra has a pretty neat effect against convoys. And for those of you who didn't see the first episode, let's take a look at the effects of Ultra. And we see here if, uh, if we uh, successfully uh, roll for counterintelligence, that is we don't roll a one, then we can use uh, the Ultra uh, marker to obtain convoy escort. And what that does, it cancels all critical hits uh, of these fronts when they are attacking the convoys. Critical hits score double hits when we are rolling for damage at the end of the turn. We can also use the Ultra to reveal the next event card and place a die, uh, plus one die roll modifier on any Axis front or on Axis convoys, on raids. But we haven't started raids yet. We hadn't drawn the appropriate card. So what we will be doing is we will spend one of our three actions. So we have two actions left actions left and we place the ultra marker here and now we have to roll for counterintelligence and that's uh, make sure there's not an intel failure so we roll a die and if a one is rolled we can place the marker oh if a one is rolled there's an intel fail and the marker goes back to the holding box otherwise we can then use it so let's bring our dice tower and we're going to roll 1d6, anything but a 1. And of course we roll a 1. <laughs> so uh, 
We wasted one precious action and now we have to return the ultra marker back to the holding box. So that's, and we're going to miss the ultra marker now, uh, its effect on convoys. So <clears throat> my question is, can I try to do that again? And let me check because I don't remember. If I can, if I fail that counterintelligence, may I try again? I have three actions. So, let's see. Okay, counterintelligence. Use a marker, okay. Then we can, it can be, okay. If I roll a one, okay. There has been an intel failure. We place the ultra marker back in the holding box and it is a waste of tempo. Well, you can still reactivate the marker even on the same turn by spending an action. So we have two actions and uh, problem is we have the Luftwaffe adjacent to Malta. Uh, so uh, hmm. that's, that's a problem because if we spend that action then we'll only have one chance to push the Luftwaffe back and we have we need two, those two chances so we won't be buying the uh, ultra marker again so we have our two actions left and uh, now we had um, the military phase now we check for resources we will have the no now we go to the convoy battle actually so the way the convoy battle works is that we flip all these fronts that you see here and uh, even the U-boat front in the Atlantic we flip. Okay, so there's going to be four fronts. Let's flip those fronts. This is going to be bloody. So I flipped all the fronts Yes, you're right. I got an observation by Nasi. I pushed the Africa Corps back last turn. Shouldn't the normal status move one to the left? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Great observation. So, yes, by pushing it back, it should be at minus one. Thanks for that observation. Okay. Now, we have the convoy resolution. These three fronts and uh, the one back there. So, the way this works is we roll a die for each of the fronts and then... For example, here, the Luftwaffe on a 2 through 4 scores a hit. And on a 5 or 6 scores 2 hits. And we record hits up here, a maximum of 6 hits. And then after we record the hits during the housekeeping phase, we uh, roll for the effects of the hits. This convoy is um, resupply from Alexandria. So we would roll here to see if uh, we lose these supplies. Uh, and if we lose both of them, our morale goes down by one. If at least one gets saved, that one supply point increases our supply stock. If both get saved, then by two, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen this turn. So let's get back here to the action. We will have uh, four die rolls. We'll start, let's start with the U-boats, which are actually here in the Atlantic and very far away. So only on a six will they score a hit. And for that, I'll use the axis die roll. So here we go. 1d6. And that's a one. So that's a failure. So we flip the U-boats back to their uh, front side. And now we go here to the Luftwaffe. And uh, because it is adjacent to Malta, it's more devastating. Uh, the numbers are more devastating against us if the fronts are closer to Malta, as you can see there. So on a two through four, it's one hit. On a five through six, it's a critical hit, which will be uh, two die rolls on the convoy display. So here we go, we roll 1d6, and luckily it's a one, no hits. So it's a total miss by the Luftwaffe. So can't complain about that. Now 
it's the Regia Aeronautica's turn. And uh, on a four through six, it will score a hit. So here we go. And it did score a hit. So that's one hit against the convoy. And uh, we record that up here in the convoy attack hits scored. And now we have the Regia Marina. And the Regia Marina, <laughs> three through five, one hit, six, a critical hit, which is two. So here we go. And, oh, critical hit. <laughs> so that's two hits that we score on the convoy attack hits scored. So now that uh, particular marker now goes uh, to the number three box. So it's three hits. It could have been worse. We now flip the uh, Regia Marina back. We finished with the convoy attacks. So now, those were the convoy attacks. And um, now we go to the resource phase. Let me show you here in just a second. Okay, battle stations, conduct each battle. We did that, now we go to the resource phase. Okay. And the resources, no changes. Okay. So now we go to the orders phase. And there's a minus one diro modifier for raids, but we can't raid, uh, conduct any raids anyway. I'm going to place a marker there anyway. And a plus one for military um, resources, if we want to obtain more. Luftwaffe and fortify. So that's good because the Luftwaffe is adjacent to uh, Malta right now. So uh, now we have our two actions because we used one for uh, to try to activate Ultra. So we have two actions left. And uh, this one is a no-brainer. We have to uh, we have to push back the Luftwaffe. But luckily there's a plus one die roll modifier. So here we go. We take our dice tower. Now the question, what does two supply mean in the, in the uh, question mark? Two supply mean in the card means that we can obtain a maximum of two supply from the convoy if both uh, supply points survive the convoy attack. That's what, that's what that means. Okay, so here we go. We roll 1d6 with a plus 1, 4, plus 1, 5. So the Luftwaffe goes back to West Sicily. Okay, so we have one action left. One action left. Africa Corp is, hmm, is at El Aguila. We don't have any modifiers, so that's a five and six. I think we should try to push the Luftwaffe again, take advantage of that plus one. So let's do that. Okay, bring the dice tower again. And uh, we need five or six with a plus one. The roll is a three modified to a four. So that is a failure. And that's the end of our action points. And I'm aware that we have supply is low at one, which is kind of risky. So uh, that's the end of our actions. And now we remove the die roll modifier markers. And we have to fortify Tobruk soon because Rommel is <laughs> on his way. So i got to remember to do that in the next turn if I have a break. So um, that's the end of that card. And now, oh no, wait, that's not the end of that card. We're in the housekeeping phase. I forgot, let's backtrack because we haven't done the convoy resolution. We have three hits to resolve. Let me place the die roll modifier markers in case anything survives 
because if any supplies are received, we get an extra free action. Okay, so now we have to resolve the convoy. Okay. So resupply from Alexandria. We are here. And um, we could have used one action to purchase a convoy air support, but well, we don't have any more actions. So now we roll the number of dice equal to the convoy attack hits scored, which is three. So we roll three dice. And what we do is we either apply each dice as a hit or as a miss. So let's bring the dice tower in here. And we will start rolling red dice. There's a total of three hits, so three dice. So here we go. And the first die, oops, I missed the tower completely. Here we go. E is a six, so that is a hit on this supply point. So we lose that supply point. We still have this one. So now we roll a second red die, no modification, and that is a three, so we lost that second supply point. So this other die roll is not going to have any effect. We'll roll anyway just for completeness. And that one is a one, so that one would be a miss. So as you can see here, we lost both supply points. So that means we incur in a penalty because none of the supply points arrived. If one or two supply points would have arrived, we could increase our supply stock by the amount of supply points that arrived. Now the penalty is that morale goes down by one. Fortunately, it was at three, so now it's at two. So those are the uh, penalties of having a convoy being uh, uh, shattered with no supplies coming back. And now, now we remove the die roll modifier markers. Okay. And now it's the end of the turn. Now we go to the next card. So here we go. This one is Bletchley Park. This should be a good one for us. Okay, so let's take a look at the event here of the color text. Based in England, this covert unit utilized Malta and Cairo as important centers for obtaining intelligence in the Mediterranean. Bletchley Park pro proved invaluable for interdicting the Axis war effort whenever secret information could be prudently applied. Operation Exporters saw the Allies invade Vichy-controlled Syria. So we have three actions, and boy, that is great. It says here, you must advance your choice of any one active Axis front. Well, so that's not so bad. So that is the first thing that we have to do. So which one Okay, should we advance? Obviously, it's not, not going to be the Africa Corps. It's not going to be the Luftwaffe region. I don't think it's at three. Uh, we could try to advance the U-boats, and they would have to go through Fortress Gibraltar. So, hmm. You must advance your choice. Okay. And just to let you know, we could use Cunningham to cancel an advance by any front, but I'd rather save him for an advance when, it, when a front is moving into Malta. So not going to use him now, but that's his effect. He can cancel the advance of any front except the Africa Corps. So we got to choose one front to advance. The U-boats are in their number five box. So it's going to be the U-boats. So the U-boats are going to advance into the Western Mediterranean, but first they have to pass through Gibraltar. And they have to roll for that. And they have to roll higher than three. So here we go. Three or higher. And the roll is a three, so they succeeded. 
and now the U-boats appear here in the western Mediterranean. So we have another front. They're in their number uh, four box. So let's take a look at the resources. Now the resource change. There's no resource change. If it is currently in the holding box, place the ultra marker in its ready box for free. Oh, that's great. So the ultra marker, you can see it is in the holding, in the holding box. So now we place it here and we can use it for free. So that's very good. We can use it in the military phase. Well, military phase already passed, so we can use it in the orders phase. And the orders phase is what's coming next, but let's see first the modifiers. Okay, here we see the modifiers, plus one if we want to obtain any resource. That's good because supply is low. So that means supply, military, and morale. We place a plus one. And uh, all axis fronts also. Wow, so all axis fronts. I'll try to, there's a, I'll put a marker here. There's a box here, all axis units DRM. Hopefully I won't forget it. <laughs> and raid, but we don't, we can't raid yet. So we have three actions because we are going to, we have ultra for free. So we have three actions now. And if we attack the Africa core, we have this minus one. But that gets canceled because of the plus one for all axis units DRM. So we should give it one shot to push the Africa core back. Luftwaffe is two spaces away. Hmm. And we can use the ultra unit for free. So, uh, yes, let's use it now. So we use the ultra unit. We have to first roll for counterintelligence. But if we uh, succeed, we will use it for an intelligence order here. So let's see. Counterintelligence. Make sure that we don't roll that nasty one again. So here we go. And the roll is a four, so we can use it, and we will use it for intelligence. So that means that we reveal the next event card, like in the coin games, we'll be able to peek one card ahead. So let's do that now. So the next card that will be coming up will be, ooh, the infamous Air Assault on Crete. Okay, we'll take a closer look at that pretty soon because there's another effect for Ultra, which you can see here. We can place a plus one Dyro modifier on any Axis front or the Axis convoys. There's no convoys this turn. So on any Axis front. So uh, that includes the Africa Corps. So... Yeah, I mean, if we push the Africa Corps back again, now the marker's going to go to minus two, but, I mean, I think we should be pushing them back as many times as we can. We have three actions, and we want to fortify Tobruk also. We need to fortify Tobruk. So, yes, I think we should try to push the Africa Corps back. That's going to be our first action, okay? So we have uh, minus one because of Rommel's situation, a plus one for all, uh, uh, all fronts that you see here, all axis fronts. So that cancels uh, that. And then uh, we have a plus one because of the ultra, the intelligence. So we have a modifier against the Africa core of a net plus one. So let's bring in our dice tower. And we need five or more. So this is our first of three actions. So here we go. And the roll is a five, modified to a six. Yes, 
So the Africa core again, back to Tripoli. And uh, with that uh, defeat, the Africa core now, Rommel's situation goes to minus two. So it's going to be tough to attack him with any, without any positive die roll modifiers. So that's one of three actions. Our next action will be to attempt to fortify Tobruk. So uh, we bring the uh, Tobruk marker from the holding box and we have to roll higher than two in order to have that marker placed there. So here we go. We roll 1d6 and the roll is a three, so that's good. So we are fortifying Tobruk, and we place the marker here on top. So uh, you, you probably wonder, what does that mean, that six bypass? If Tobruk is attacked by the Africa core, it has to obtain a die roll which is higher uh, than, uh, than the number there. Of course, we can increase its strength to three. So it would need four, five, or six. But if it rolls a six, it bypasses Trobruk, and the Africa Corps goes to Sidi Barrani, and we place a Tobruk bypassed status marker there. And it has certain very interesting effects, which I'll talk about if it happens. But uh, I believe this first marker, Tobruk Falls, remains here. And... Uh, Got to check when, when, if Rommel captures Tobruk the first time it falls. It falls once per game. Okay. So uh, that takes care of that. We fortified uh, Tobruk and we still have one more action to go. One more action. Mm, supply is very low. I think we have to increase supplies. I know the Luftwaffe is knocking our, on our door there in the Regia Aeronautica, but supplies are low and we don't want that next card to say minus one supplies. So we're going to roll to increase our supplies and we need higher than three, but we have a plus one. So here we go. And the roll is a six. So that is success and now supply is at two. So those are our three actions. I'm not going to use a supply point now. That's the end of this particular turn. Let's refresh the board, take all these die roll modifier markers out, and that's the end of the turn. So far so good, and we know what the next card is, and it's Air Assault on Crete. I should have taken a look before, right? But <laughs> we'll take a look at it now. It says, elite German paratroopers assaulted Crete on the 20th of May, 1941. It was a close battle, eventually lost by the British, who again suffered heavily at sea, nullifying their earlier victories. Luftwaffe units began to withdraw for Hitler's invasion of Russia, which eased pressure in the Mediterranean. Malta's submarines scored victories over Italian ships. Yeah, sounds good. So we have two actions, but now we go to the military phase and there's a retreat by the Luftwaffe. And Ultra is committed. And what that means is that Ultra is being committed to some other uh, sector or other front of World War II, so we won't be able to use Ultra. And by the way, when we used Ultra, uh, in, the, in the last turn, we're supposed to place it back here in the holding box. So now it's Ultra has been committed. So Ultra is now placed outside of the holding box. So uh, that we cannot use it. At the end of the turn, in the housekeeping phase, we will return it uh, to the uh, holding box for use in, in, by spending an action point. So we have to retreat the Luftwaffe, and that comes in handy. So the Luftwaffe, which is currently in its number two spot in West Sicily, now moves back to Regio Calabria. 
Now let's take a look at the resource changes. Minus one military, minus one morale. Uh oh. Military was at one, so we're going to suffer a penalty there. And we roll a die for Axis success at Crete. So let's first adjust the resources. And this one's going to hurt here. Military resources go down to zero. And when that happens, we cannot conduct any raids. But we have not started to make raids. We need to wait for the appropriate card. But we can only conduct one attack or air support. So now that we are at zero, we can only attack one front. And if, if there would be a convoy, we could only do one air support. So that is a limitation that we will have until that goes up to one again. The other resource that suffers is morale. So morale is at a dangerous one. And again, if all these resources go down to zero by the end of the turn, we lose the game. And they're getting pretty close when you look at it. Morale one, supplies two, military zero. So we better start increasing our resources. But now we have to roll for the outcome of uh, the Crete invasion. So we will roll one die to see how that turns out. We bring our dice tower, and it says on a two, on a one, no effect. Two or three, we place a minus one die roll modifier casualties at Crete, and uh, four or five or six minus two die roll modifier casualties at Crete in its box. There's a box that'll show you. So here we go. We roll one d6, and the roll is a two. We place a minus one die roll modifier casualties at Creek at uh, Crete so here we have so access casualties and we place this here at Crete okay so my, my question I'm trying to remember what effect does that have so let's check the rules briefly on that and we have Marval, yes, we are, we, our luck has, <laughs> has uh, continued. Uh, I want to check what that Crete marker does, because off the top of my head, I just don't remember. Okay, it says it's a minus one die roll modifier. Let me see. I can find it in the rolls. Uh, I think it's supposed to help us somehow, that Crete. Um, oh, I think, yes. In case of a hop Operation Hercules die roll. Okay, that's what I think, yeah. Let me show you the Operation Hercules table. If at any time... Um, any of the Axis fronts advances into the zero Malta space, then we have to venture the fate of Operation Hercules. And there you see Axis attack total. We would roll two dice, subtract Axis casualties at Crete, so that would be minus one. And then we add the battle values of the Axis fronts that are in Malta. Okay, it could be one or more. And then we sum the combined value of Malta's resources, military supply and morale. Right now it's really bad, it's just three. And then if the final sum is minus one or less, Hercules is postponed and we retreat the Axis units in Malta. But if the final sum is zero or more, we lost the game and Malta falls. So that is the importance of that air assault on Crete. It could have been worse, it could have been a minus two but we'll take the minus one because it could also have been just no effect. So that minus one will help us somehow if we uh, have to venture Operation Hercules. Okay, so we conducted that resource check here 
And now we check the orders. All resources minus one. And that that's uh, hmm. that's bad because most of our resources are in dire need of having them replenish it. We have one morale and zero military, which means we can only perform one attack. However, we have a plus one on any attack on the Luftwaffe and a raid, but we haven't started raids yet. So let's take a look at the situation. We have two actions. Two actions. So Malta is pretty safe for now. The Luftwaffe went back in the previous turn. Uh, Regia Aeronautica is three spaces away. Regia Marina is two spaces away. Africa Corps is back in uh, here. In theory, we could try to push it off the map, but uh, we have a minus two here, so we're not, we don't, we're not gonna get into that. So we have two actions, and the problem is that we can only perform one attack, right? So. Let's do just one attack, and then we'll try to increase one of our supplies down here. So the attack will be on the Regia Marina, which is in its number two box, which is too close for comfort. So we roll one d6, and my die got stuck, so let me re-roll. Here we go. One d6, the roll is a six. So the Regia Marina now goes back to Naples. So we have one more action. U-boats are in their number four box. Um, so uh, one more action. We better increase our resources, even though we have minus one die roll modifiers for each. The reality is that if a card, uh, if in the next card we have a minus one to morale, then we'll have another penalty on top on, of the military penalty. So we will roll to try to increase our morale. And we need three or more. And there's a minus one die roll here. So here we go. I got stuck again. All right, let me roll again. Here we go. And the roll is a 3 minus 1, 2. That's a failure. So that's our second action. So the second action. So that's the end of our turn. And now we uh, collect the die roll modifier markers. And except for the Malta one, that uh, Crete one just stays there. Now we go to the next card. And we have James. We love the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you. And we have also DD. Let me see it again. DDLOD. No, you missed the first part. It's recorded. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the next card. And here we go. Another convoy, Operation Tiger. So let's take a closer look. Operation Tiger on the 12th of May, 1941, an important convoy delivered 200 tanks to Alexandria. Operation Brevity, a limited offensive versus Rommel on the 15th of May near the Libya-Egypt border, failed to meet most of its objectives at Malta. More hurricane fighters arrived, while other ships delivered troops and supplies to sustain the island. That, that sounds pretty good for us. We got three actions, and uh, there's advances by the Regia Aeronautica, and uh, there is a convoy battle. And it says the Axis automatically scores one fewer hit against this convoy. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's advance first the Regia Aeronautica, which is in its number three box in Messina, and it advances to its number two spot in northern Sicily. Okay, and now we have the convoy battle. We have three actions. So, uh, oh, in the, in the 
housekeeping phase, we were supposed to, um, in the refresh part, uh, the ultra marker, place return that marker back to the uh, to the holding box, so it's available for purchase. So it's there. So that's placed it back there. Okay. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> we have a convoy. We we should use the ultra. We have two actions. Uh, three actions. So we're going to spend the first action to activate Ultra. And uh, so we move Ultra here. And we have to roll to see if we can use Ultra because we want to use it as a convoy escort. And um, so we have to roll the counterintelligence die roll. Only on a one will there be an intelligence failure like we had a few turns ago. So here we go. And we have another one. So <laughs> that failed. So uh, that means that the ultra marker now goes back here. And we could use another, a second action to try again. Uh, do we want to do that? Let's see what the situation is here. The fronts are not too close. There's going to be a convoy. So we're going to have a lot of fronts rolling. We need, yes, let's spend our second action. And uh, let's roll again for counterintelligence. Second of three actions. So here we go. Anything but a one. And it got stuck. Got to fix this dice tower. Let me try again. Here we go. And a two. Okay. So we passed the counterintelligence roll. So now we have convoy escort. What that means is that any critical hit is ignored. It will be treated as a miss result. So that is our uh, second action. We have one action left. And we can also use an action to purchase where is this air support. So we have the air support mark. Where does the air support marker do? It decreases the probability of supply being lost because you reduce each each die roll by one. So let's see if we want to do that. Uh, I think we should. Luftwaffe is in its three box. Regia Aeronautica is the closest one, but that one is easy to push back. So we will use this point. This will be our last point. So this is the Operation Tiger. So we'll place it here for now. Okay. Okay, so we conducted our turn. Uh, oh, I think I did something wrong here. No, no, I didn't. Now we do the convoy battle. Yes, because I, I haven't pushed any front back. So we did two ultras. Yeah, and the convoy battle goes on now. So now we have to flip all these fronts to their convoy battle sides. We got four of them on the board. So here they are. Let's take a see. see the closest one is the Regia Aeronautica. So let's start rolling four hits. Oh, I need the spit. Oh, I need the Spitfire for the. Oh, I see for the convoy air support. Okay. Okay. Thanks for reminding me, Marble. I appreciate it. So I have one action left, which I'll use in the orders phase. Okay. I can't play this marker. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is the air support for this is the Spitfires. Okay, got it. Let me see one thing here. 
Yes, it has. Please here, support modern the con on board track. Okay. Okay, so now we roll for the U-boats. Here we go. And five or six will be a hit. See where is the black die roll? Here we go. And that's a two. So that is miss. So the U-boats failed. Now we will roll for the Luftwaffe. And that's it's gonna be a hit on a four through six. So here we go. And that's a one, so that's a miss. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. So now we roll for, let's roll for the Regia Marina now. And that is, we need a four through six. So here we go. And that's a two, so that's another miss. The, the axis is atrocious today. So now we roll for Regia Aeronautica, which is the one that has the best chance. It's a three through five for a hit and critical hit on a six, but the critical hits because of the successful ultra mission uh, will be ignored. So they need three through five. So here we go. And they rolled a one, so it's no hits at all. So that's great. That means that we're going to receive both supply points from the convoy. No hits at all. The hits remain at zero. And we have one action left. And uh, so we can use it. Try to increase our morale, try to increase our supply, try to push a front back, but the fronts are, I don't think the fronts are very threatening at all. So uh, we should try to either increase our military, but that's a five or six that we need, or increase our morale, which is at one. We don't want a card that reads morale minus one. Uh, the fronts are, are way back. So we're, we're going to try to increase our morale. That will be our third action. So we need higher than two. Here we go. And the roll is a six. So that is successful. And morale now goes to up to two. So now we would normally conduct the convoy uh, resolution here but there's nothing to roll for. So both these supply points make it to our stock here. So now we increase our supply from two to four. And um, we get a free action. And we can use the action if we want for, for a morale check. Uh, we would get a plus one for that morale check if we use that free action for that. Which is very enticing, but we have two morale points. And I'm inclined to try to increase the military. Why? Because otherwise it's going to be just one attack. I know it's risky. It's a five or six. Ah. One supply and one military. Oh, I can, I can choose resources? It doesn't have to be all supply? Is that what you're saying, Marvel? When the two, the two, I thought you could, let me see. The two supply, the two, oh, it's one supply and one military. I didn't read it. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Thank God somebody's played this game and was watching it. Okay, so supply is really three. I got to read. I thought they were all set, all set supply. And military goes up by one, so that's good. So that means that, hmm, yes, that, uh, that free action, yes, I think I should use it for the morale. Hmm. Yes, okay, so we adjusted it. So, uh, okay, we got one free action. 
me see. I haven't done the free action yet, right? I don't think so. Okay. I haven't done it. Pretty sure I haven't done it yet. Okay. So, uh, yes, let's roll. Let's take the free action to increase morale, and there we would have a plus one die roll modifier. So, here we go. We need three or higher. So, four plus one, five. So, we increase morale to three with that free action. And uh, that's the end of this turn now. And, okay. Oh, I see one thing. One thing here. I didn't apply the... I didn't apply these modifiers, but it doesn't matter. I wasn't going to roll against, I wasn't going to roll for the military anyway. Luftwaffe right here, I don't think I'm right. I didn't put those markers, but it's no problem. I wasn't going to use, I wasn't going to attack the Luftwaffe or try to increase the military. Maybe I should have had, but I won't go there. So that's the end of this turn. And now we go to the next card. Next card is evacuation from Greece. That doesn't sound good, so let's see what it says. After the Axis port at Tripoli was bombed on the 20th of April 1941, the Royal Navy was hard-pressed to evacuate Commonwealth troops from the disaster in Greece. Throughout the week of April the 24th, Mountbatten led a group of destroyers from Malta to support the withdrawal, and the British suffered Heavy losses at sea. Okay, we have two actions. Okay. And uh, we have two actions. The Africa Corps will advance. We have, uh, well, it says reduce here. The Luftwaffe value would, will be adjusted to three. That's good because it's at four. And Ultra is committed. Okay. Okay, so Ultra which we were supposed to bring back to the holding box, is now committed, so it's back here. So we have an advance by the Africa Corps, so let's do that. The Africa Corps advances from Tripoli to Elagela. Okay. And then we have to reduce the Luftwaffe, adjust it to... to uh, Three, if it's at four, and regardless, it does not advance. So that's good. So here we see it is at four. So now it changes to its three iteration. Okay. Ultra is committed, so resources minus one military. So we go back to zero and minus one morale. So it's good that we increase morale. So here we go, minus one for military resources. We're back here stuck with just one attack or air support and uh, supplies at three, but morale also goes down by one. So we're at two. And now we check the orders. It's minus one for all resources, military, Supply and morale and uh, plus one Luftwaffe and raid. We still can't raid because we haven't drawn the card. So we have a total of two actions this time. We got three supply points. If we, we want to burn one, uh, we see. We have to draw that raid card soon. We should increase the fortification of, uh, of Tobruk. But we have two actions. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Military, we're at zero. We can only have one attack performed. Okay. So let's, let's try to increase strength of uh, Tobruk's fortification there. 
That's going to be our first action. Because I don't think we I don't think it's worth it to try to push the Africa Corps back when uh, when you see that we have a minus two, it's practically we, we need we would need just a six because a six is always successful. So uh, let's try to increase to a three here. So let's bring our tower. It's our first action. And we need higher than two. So here we go. And the roll is a four. So we just increased the fortification level of Tobruk to three. We have one more action. Resource-wise, we uh, we have penalties, minus one on all of them. And here we would need a six to increase military, so that's kind of uh, hopeless. We can f perform one attack. One attack. Where would we attack? Uh, the Luftwaffe has that plus one. I think it's worth it to take advantage of it, push the Luftwaffe back so we don't have to worry about them for a while. So let's attack the Luftwaffe there, try to push them back to South Sardinia. And we need four or higher. And we got a plus one, so here we go. It's a one, so that's a fail. And that's our second of two actions. We're not going to spend our action point here. So now we will remove the die roll modifier markers. That's the end of that turn. Okay, how many cards I have left here this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Nine cards. And I've been going for an hour and a half. So I'm going to play one more card today. And we'll continue tomorrow. So I'm, I'm, I'm losing my voice here <laughs> with all this excitement. Okay, so let's see. Let's go for the next card. The next card is... Operation status one slash two. And it reads September, or I got a, here it is. September 1941, while the Italian Air Force focused on night bombing, more hurricane fighters reached Malta, bolstering its air defense as the island also improved its night fighting techniques. The British submarine upholder continued to terrorize Axis shipping, sinking two more large transports on the 16th, 17th of September. Okay. Sounds very good, but we have a lot of advances here. Only two actions. Advances by U-boats, Regia Aeronautica, and the Africa Corps. So uh, let's advance first. The U-boat advances from its number four spot, which, just to give you an idea, is here. It advances all the way down here to its number three spot. And then we also have an advance by the Regia Aeronautica is now adjacent to uh, Malta. Okay, and we, we can only attack one front. And we have, of course, the Africa Corps advancing into Benghazi. Okay. And we still don't have that card that allows us to conduct raids. It's incredible we haven't drawn that card. Hmm. So that, those are the advances. Now we check for resource changes. No. Orders. Minus one die roll modifier for supply. There's a plus one for raids, but there's no raids. And plus two for military. Hmm, that's interesting. Plus two for military. Okay. Now we have our two actions. Ah. So let's see here. Two actions, two actions. Regia is 
adjacent. We're going to only attack one front because of military supplies, unless we try to increase military supplies. And I don't, I don't think we're going to have another chance at a plus two like this. So the plan is let's roll for military supplies and uh, hopefully we'll increase them to one. That'll allow us to attack Regia Aeronautica. If we succeed, great. If not, we can burn another supply point. And because we have moved out of this zero zone, we, could, we can execute that second attack. That's the plan. So let's see. Let's go with our first action. We roll for military supplies. We need higher than four. Roll is a five modified to a six. So that is a success. So now the supply situation goes up to one. Okay, so that was our first of two actions. So now we can conduct more than one attack. So next attack is against Regia Aeronautica. So let's roll 1d6. We need higher than two. And the roll is the necessary minimum, three. So Regia Aeronautica goes back to northern Sicily. Okay, so far so good. We have conducted our two actions. We still have those three supply points. Uh, the U-boats are in their number three spot. Uh, an attack on the Africa Corps would be a Hail Mary. We would need a six. Uh, and they're, they're about to advance on Tobruk. And uh, fortification can't be higher, so uh, I won't burn that supply point now. Uh, leave it as it is. Uh, hope we can get that raid card soon. So that's the end of our turn here. Now we remove the die roll modifier markers. Okay. And we return here. And we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. And that's where I will leave it for today. Uh, I'll continue and we'll play out the eight cards tomorrow to see if we advance into the uh, into the next epoch or not. We have the Africa Corps advancing on Tobruk. We have this nasty minus two Rommel situation dyro modifier, which we have not been able to improve. Uh, hmm. So that's kind of worrisome. And uh, Raid is with card 16. It's the first card in the second epoch. Oh, okay, I see. So, <laughs> so we got, I, th I think Rommel is going to capture Tobruk or bypass it anyway. So probably that's going to be the situation. Uh, raid card is in 16. That's weird because these have higher numbers, 26. I think the raid card should be here. You said it's the, oh, it's just in the second epoch. It's the first card of the second epoch. Wait a second, we, I, we already played that. Sixteen. Flip around. Hmm. So I, might, I might have missed that. Let me see. The raids. So I, I could have been conducting raids. <laughs> no, I can't. Let me see. Oh boy, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Player record. Okay. Raid action. Once card 16 has been revealed, you may use this action. Well, that was the first card in the 
so we can use rates. So I haven't been rating at all. Okay. Okay. I thought there was a specific card that said it. The card doesn't actually say it. It's in the rules. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah. It's a pity the card doesn't say it. It says, oh, now allowed. I thought it said not allowed. <laughs> okay. So we can raid. Hey, let's play one more card. Let's see if we can raid. Okay. Play one more now then. Since we can raid. Okay. Yep. So let's play the next card. And it's a convoy. Operation Substance. Okay. Let's take a closer look. In late July 1941, a multi-ship convoy sailed from Gibraltar. It was a dangerous mission that saw one ship run aground. Attacks from the Italian Air Force and even a torpedo boat assault from the Italian Navy was endured. The Italian 10th Light Flotilla also made a brave, desperate bid to attack Malta's Grand Harbor. So we have advances by Regia Aeronautica and Regia Marina and a convoy battle. Okay, so advances by Regia Aeronautica, adjacent now to Sicily, to Sicily to Malta. Regia Marina now goes to Taranto, and we have a convoy battle. Okay, and this convoy battle will be worth three supply points. So uh, now the ultramarker is supposed to be in the holding box once again. And we have three actions, and yes, one will be used to bring that ultra marker uh, into the active box. So we place it here, and we roll to see if there's uh, a counterintelligence, uh, if, see if we can actually use it, anything but a one. And the roll is a four, so we can use the ultra. Uh, capability, and we will use it for convoy escort. Okay, so I'll place it here. Yeah, there's a little box here, convoy escort. So we ignore the critical hits. Okay. So now we have two actions left, but now we have to conduct the convoy battle. So here we go. So the convoy battle is going to be interesting. So it's a total of possible three supply. Okay, so let's flip all the uh, fronts to their convoy battle sides. And uh, we will ignore all critical hits. So that's not bad. Okay, so let's start with the subs that are down here, the U-boats. A hit on a four, two, six. So here we go. It got stuck, doesn't count. Here we go again. The roll is a six, so that's one hit. So we record that over here. That's a regular hit. Okay, so now we proceed with uh, the Luftwaffe. And it's going to be a hit on a four through six. And that's a one, so that's a miss. And uh, so far, so good. And. Now we have, uh, let's leave the Regia Aeronautica for last, for dramatic effect. So we have the Regia Marina, which can only score on a three through five because we ignore critical hits. So three through five will be one hit. And the roll is a two, so that's a miss. 
so far. So good, can't complain. Now here comes the dangerous Regia Aeronautica. And, uh, but it's not so dangerous. Why? Because critical hits are ignored. It's just going to be one hit. So something is going to arrive because there's three supplies in this convoy. So two through four is a hit, and the roll is a five, so that's ignored. So that is a miss. So that particular uh, convoy attack only yielded one hit. Okay, so can't complain, one hit. And we still have uh, two actions. So now we have to check for resource modification, plus one military or increase the Malta fort level by one to maximum value of four. My choice, well, Malta is at its maximum, so we'll take the increase military. And now we're at two, which gives us a little breather there. That's not bad. And uh, now we check the orders. Minus one. Hmm, interesting. Regia Aeronautica, which is adjacent to Malta. Minus one. Hmm. And plus one for any supply, uh, any attack on the Luftwaffe, and Regia Marina, and we may want to do a raid. We have two actions, though. You can't do everything you want. Okay, if we would like to do a raid, we, the problem with the raid is we need five or higher. Right? To do a raid. So uh, that's a 33% chance, but a successful raid would move that marker, and we got to start moving that marker. So I think we should allocate one of those rolls. We have three supplies, so let's first try to push that Regia Aeronautica back, which is too close for comfort. So that's, this is going to be our second of third of three actions. So here we go. We roll 1d6 and we subtract 1. 6 minus 1, 5. That's a success. So uh, Regio Aeronautica goes back again to northern Sicily. So that gives us a breather. So we have one action left. <clears throat> and uh, I want to do that raid because uh, Got to start moving that situation marker to the right. Okay, so um, let me see here. Okay, we, won't, we don't have any modifier as to the raid. It has to be five or six. So let's bring in the dice tower. This is our third of three regular actions. And we need five or six for a successful rate. Ugh, four. So that's a miss. <laughs> okay. Question is, do we burn one of these supplies? Ah. Uh, this, this is going to stay with a minus two here. Uh, we're going to gonna have to take our chances and leave those supplies there because they can be sorely needed. I stopped streaming. Let me see what happened. Uh, did I stop streaming? <laughs> it says excellent signal. Just refresh your browser. Let me see. I don't know what happened. Oh, my browser's not the problem. Hmm. Let me see what happened. You are fine. We are fine, right? No, I didn't start streaming. It says excellent. Excellent connection. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're here. Okay. Okay, so this is the situation at the end of this turn. We have a convoy 
that we have to roll for now. Oh, yeah, we still have to roll for the convoy. This is Operation Substance. And there's only one hit to apply. See it there, one hit to apply. So it's just one die roll. So uh, this is going to be good for us. We bring the dice tower. Only one hit. And uh, so here we go. And a uh, three, so that means. Okay, we're here. Oh, yeah, sorry. We rolled a three, so that means that we lose this supply point. Supply, one supply lost, but two supplies come in. So, uh, yeah, maybe I should have tried to give it a chance for the Rommel because I was going to receive these two supplies. So now we have five supplies. So we have to burn in the next turn some supplies. And we get a free action. Mm, free action. Free action. Let's try to raid. Okay. Free action is going to be a raid. So here we go. Let's bring our dice tower. We need a five or six. So here we go. And it's a four. So that's a fail. That was our free action there. And that's the end of the turn. So it was mixed, but could have been worse. It's a pity the raids failed, so let's remove the die roll modifier markers. Okay. So that's the end of this turn. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So I'm going to leave it here today and uh, Battery's running a little low, and my voice is running a little low. So we'll continue tomorrow with what's left of this epoch. We have five supplies, so we have to burn some supplies, because if we receive more, they're wasted. So that means extra actions. That means we can try to push back the Africa core, but uh, we got to start raiding and getting a better modifier there. So this is a situation at the end of... Uh, nine cards left in the second epoch in Malta besieged and I want to thank everybody who joined in for the for the broadcast this is a live broadcast uh, and you've probably noticed I'm getting used to the mechanics of uh, operating the equipment it's something that uh, you can only uh, practice makes perfect so I hope it's enjoyable for you uh, for me, it's a real pleasure to play a game and also interact with all of you, and especially uh, some of you, including Marvel, have given me some uh, tips as to not, as to not screw up with some of the rules, which is always good, and a lot, it's a lot better than having to uh, post notes at the end of the videos. So I want to thank all of you for tuning in, and... Uh, so let me see, let me restore the chat here. I think you're all there. So this is going to be the end of the stream. And are any of you there? Can any of you send a text? Because it's, the text has been stale for a while. There you go. OK, got it. Howard Montgomery, thanks. OK, guys, so thanks a lot for tuning in. And I'll see you tomorrow, OK? This is Stuka Joe signing off for now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.